Hey everyone! So today I'm here to review the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stains. They individually retail for $13 US, $16 in Canada, they contain 0.17 ounces of product, and they're available in 14 shades. They are said to be a lip stain in both matte and satin finishes that provide a beautiful, long-lasting color. The packaging is your standard plastic lip gloss style tube with a flexible doe foot applicator. They have a powdery vanilla type scent that can be noticed on initial application, but it does fade rather quickly. It's a lot more noticeable when you actually have the tube in front of you than once the product's on your lips. The formula itself is highly pigmented, easy to apply, and dries 30 to 60 seconds after application. Like with most liquid lipsticks, the color does cling to your lips, but it never feels drying or uncomfortable. These ones are also incredibly forgiving if you want to apply a second coat to intensify the pigmentation or clean up any mistakes. Usually with matte liquid lipsticks, if you press your lips together before the product is fully dry or you try applying a second coat over top, it usually ends up moving the product around and making it appear patchy. Thankfully, these Sephora liquid lipsticks are pretty much foolproof. They're so easy to apply. These lipsticks also don't transfer or budge, and they typically on their own last six to eight hours average. Of course, keeping in mind that if you do layer products over top of it, like glosses, it can cause the wear time to be cut down drastically. Always Red is a medium brightened scarlet red with warm undertones and a soft matte finish. This shade applied smoothly, evenly, and had fully opaque, rich pigmentation in a single swipe. I felt that this particular shade had a thicker consistency than the rest of them, but that didn't affect the application or wear time. Always Red were well for 7 hours and left behind a stain. In comparison, Kat Von D's Outlaw was warmer and came off more orange toned, and Kat Von D's Nosferatu was darker and more red. Strawberry Kissed is a medium strawberry red with warm undertones and a matte finish. This shade applied smoothly, evenly, and had rich, opaque pigmentation. It had excellent performance throughout wear. It wasn't streaky or patchy once dry, and it didn't flake or crack over time. Strawberry Kissed wore well for 7 hours and left behind a stain. In comparison, Kat Von D's Bachelorette was cooler and more pink. Max All Fired Up was brighter, cooler, and more pink. Max Impassioned was lighter, brighter, cooler, and more pink. And the Too Faced Melted Strawberry was brighter, more more vivid and glossy. Pink Souffle is a light to medium pink mauve with warm undertones, a pink sheen, and a satin matte finish. It applied smoothly, evenly, and fully opaque. While the shade did have rich pigmentation, it also had a very, very fine micro sparkle mixed into it. On close inspection, it was lightly streaky in some areas, and I did experience the product lightly cracking in the fine lines of my lips over time. Pink Souffle lasted six hours before fading. In comparison, Kat Von D Love Sick was lighter and cooler, Max Please Me was lighter and more yellow toned, and Clinique's Plum Pop was darker, muted, and more plum. Cherry Blossom is a medium to dark watermelon pink with warm undertones and a matte finish. This shade applied smoothly, evenly, and had rich, opaque pigmentation. It had excellent performance during wear. It was never streaky or patchy, and it didn't flake or crack over time. Cherry Blossom wore well for six and a half hours before fading. In comparison, Kat Von D's Mother was darker, Kat Von D's Lovesick was lighter and cooler, and the Too Faced Melted Fig was darker, muted, and more plum. Whipped Blush is a medium brightened neon pink with warm undertones and a matte finish. This shade applied smoothly, evenly, and fully, richly pigmented in a single swipe. While I didn't find this particular shade to be difficult to work with despite it being a vivid color, I did experience light cracking in the fine lines of my lips over time. Whipped Blush were well for 7 hours and left behind a stain. In comparison, Kat Von D's Backstage Bambi was lighter and cooler, Max Pink Pigeon was darker, warmer, and more muted, and Max Candy Yum Yum was lighter, brighter, and cooler. African Violet is a medium brightened fuchsia purple with warm undertones and a matte finish. This shade applied smoothly, evenly, and mostly fully opaque. It had rich pigmentation and left a nice soft sheen to my lips, almost as if there was a fine micro sparkle mixed in, but none could be detected on the lips, in the tube, or on the wand. It was only really once the product was applied and it had dried. African Violet wore well for 7 hours and left behind a faint stain. In comparison, Kat Von D's Love was brighter and more purple. Kat Von D's Suspiria was darker, cooler, and more purple. Max Heroin was darker, cooler, and more purple. And Clinique's Grape Pop was lighter, warmer, and muted. Marvelous Mauve is a medium dusty rose with hints of pink, warm undertones, and a matte
matte finish. This shade applied smoothly, evenly, and had rich, opaque pigmentation. Once again, this was another shade that had excellent performance during wear. It was never streaky or patchy, and it didn't flake or crack once dry. Marvelous Mauve wore well for six and a half hours before fading. In comparison, Kat Von D's Lolita was muted and more brown, and Clinique's Plum Pop was warmer and more pink. Blackberry Sorbet is a medium to dark muted berry red with purple micro sparkle, warm undertones, and a matte finish. It is also the shade I currently have on today. This shade applied smoothly and even for the most part. While it did have rich, opaque pigmentation, it did appear ever so slightly darker in some areas on close inspection. As you can probably tell from this distance away from my face to the camera, you can't really tell at all. It looks like one solid color. This was another color to have a very fine micro sparkle mixed in, which left a soft sheen on the lips. Blackberry Sorbet wore well for six and a half hours and left behind a stain. In comparison, Kat Von D's Exorcism was darker and more burgundy. Kat Von D's Wolf's Mouth was lighter, warmer, and less opaque. And Max Instigator was darker, cooler, and more purple. Polished Purple is a deep, darkened purple with neutral to warm undertones, multicolored micro sparkle, and a metallic finish. That is quite the description, right? This shade applied smoothly, evenly, and had opaque pigmentation. There were times where the product did apply thinner and more sheer around the edges, but this could be easily corrected by applying a second coat over top to fix any mistakes. This shade honestly has the most unique metallic finish and it didn't emphasize imperfections. Polished purple wore well for seven hours and left behind a faint stain. In comparison, Kat Von D's Poe was blue and less opaque, and the Too Faced Melted Villain was lighter, warmer, muted, and more fuchsia. So overall, these liquid lipsticks truly are one of a kind. While they do dry to a matte finish, they're comfortable to wear, and they are insanely forgiving when it comes to dry, chapped, or imperfections on the lips. I found that they didn't over accentuate any of those problems due to the softer finish that they leave. Honestly, if you're just a fan of liquid lipsticks in general, or you want to love the matte liquid lipsticks like the Kat Von D ones, but you just can't get them to work for you, these are a really great alternative that will work for anyone, they're affordable, and they are definitely worth worth checking out. So be sure to let me know in the comments below if you've tried these out before, if you are interested in it, or just in general what your favorite liquid lipstick is. As always, don't forget to check out my blog for more details, photos, and swatches, as well as like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. If you'd like to give me a follow, I will have all of my social media listed here, as well as down in the description. As I always say, I hope you found this review helpful, and I hope that you're all having a fantastic day, and thank you so much for watching.